Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. This practice question is fairly straightforward if we understand the basic structure of DNA. The backbone of DNA is composed of phosphate groups as well as ribose sugars. So this whole thing right here consists of the backbone of DNA. And it makes sense because if you think about a backbone or like a spine, it's something that's got repetitive units in it, right? We just have repeating units of ribose phosphate, ribose phosphate, ribose phosphate. It repeats all the way down. So we think about it as the backbone, right? Whereas the rest of this structure, these nitrogenous bases, these vary. Right? They're different all the way down. And that's why we don't include them as part of the DNA backbone. Now, what is the type of bond that's making up the DNA backbone? This bond between our ribose sugar and our phosphate group is known as a phosphodiester bond. And we call it that because we have this phosphate plus two esters. Ester there and ester there. Right? Let's take a second look at the question stem. It states, the structural backbone of DNA has been compromised by a rare pathogen. This pathogen must have disrupted what type of bond? And because we're dealing with the structural backbone, we're dealing with phosphodiester bonds, and that means we're dealing with covalent bonds. Answer choice A. If you liked this question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.